What happens when you give up alcohol for seven and a half years? I've got US Olympic gymnast Stephen McCain who did just that. Tell me about what you were drinking beforehand and what's happened subsequently. <laughs> well, I think, you know, when, a, when an athlete retires, I was 30 by the time I retired, so uh, it was like losing a family member. I did it, did it for 20 years, and, and uh, so when I was done, you know, you start the partying days, start becoming the partying lifestyle. And uh, I ended up getting caught up in a bunch of ventures that really were making me miserable. And uh, one day I woke up and I just said, you know, I'm not living the life that I want to live at all. In fact, to the degree that I've fantasized about and joked about, let's just put a bullet in my head and, and end this. I mean, I wasn't suicidal, but it's amazing what you think as a joke when you are not happy and you're putting yourself and staying in a position as in an unhappy state because you're uh, numbing yourself you know and uh, I ended up quitting and uh, it was the absolute best decision of my life memories came back really things started like connect I started connecting dots I started finding out who you know I really was and who I wanted to be and uh, you know that's why I, I, I had to come up to you today and tell you like I really like what you're doing with the no drinking and Thank you. if you are at all curious or, or have this little voice in your head, that little alert that's saying, maybe I should, maybe I should, you know, not drink. Maybe I should stop this. I'm telling you right now, there was a time when I thought there would be no reason to live, be alive without drinking. Mm. Well, it would be boring. It would right. be so boring. But I'm telling you, if you have that little voice inside that says you should stop drinking, I'm telling you now, it'll be one of the best things you could, you can ever do. This is my motto with drinking. Mm -hmm. If you have a drinking problem, you should definitely stop. <laughs> yeah. If you don't have a drinking problem, then it should be no problem for you to stop. Yeah, that's a good point. What was your drink of choice or drinks of choice when you were competing? And the culture when you were competing for the US Olympic team was one of drinking outside of competition. Is that right? Yeah, and, well, we, we, yeah. it fosters this binge mentality where, you know, you work so hard, then you get a, a night or two of freedom, and you're in some city and some place around the world with your buddies, and you feeling like a king, and you, you, you know, you, you celebrate, right? And then drink of choice is whatever we're drinking. I mean, yeah. more was the drink of choice, <laughs> right? You know? Yeah. And then when you get done, you know, that's when... The music stops and you know you're trying to look for something to make you happy because you, you don't have that 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 inner fire that that playing field you know and it can be a vicious cycle you know what was the catalyst for you finally saying enough's enough and quitting was it the, was it one moment was it a build-up like what was the what was the catalyst for you going I'm done I think I just got to a point where I said, you know, whatever I make of myself at any given moment in time, it could all be just toppled over because of drinking. Like, in, a, in an instant, I could just ruin everything. I could be a person, a great person, I could be a good friend, I could be a good, a good boyfriend, I could be a great worker, I could, be, I could be dedicated, but you know what? I had this vulnerability in me that ultimately was making me feel like less of a person and also, I'll tell you what happened. Mm. I saw, I was walking in in, uh, in Westwood. That's where I was living at the time, and I saw a homeless person on the street. Mm. And I literally said to myself, "The that right there could actually happen to somebody who drinks without responsibility." And I thought that could actually happen to me. Mm. There were. The, the, the drinking is a vehicle that opens up doorways to you ending up at dead ends that when you stop it, you realize there's no way that will ever happen, mm. you know? And you had to, you were saying before that you had to cut a few friends out of your life because they were drinking too much, right? Like it's not like you wanted to cut them, but for your own development or your own health or your own happiness, you kind of had to get rid of some friends and maybe naturally attract some other friends who are of a certain mindset yeah I mean I think what happens is, is naturally some some of them will kind of slough off right mm. because you're, you're just not hanging out in places where drinks are flowing anymore but 
you know, all of a sudden new friends started gravitating to me. Friends that had never drank before, that were into yeah. the same things that I were in, that I was into. Yeah. And it, it immediately, it's interesting the way how when you change, the world changes to, to fit that. Um, yeah. You know, and, and you know, I don't, do I miss it at all? Absolutely not, you mm -hmm. know? Because I, I, it, it's, it's one of these things where, man, it's not fun waking up with a hangover. A, when you drink, you're impaired. It's really not that fun if you think about it. You know, it's a crutch. And B, when you wake up with a hangover, you feel terrible, mm. you know? And I've just poured it all into my health and, and curiosities of life and, and uh, my brain it feels doesn't your brain feel so much feel better? so much better I, I my skin got better so here's a warning you do get better looking when you quit alcohol or reduce because all the yeah, toxins yeah, yeah, come yeah. out of your skin yeah I'm 43 right now and I, I feel amazing yeah, you know good on you. and my, my shape came back I got my my guns you know Damn, look at that. <laughs> look at that huh? so you know I, I again I, I I don't know how much longer we're gonna do this interview but if you have that voice inside your head that is saying maybe this has become a problem Maybe I should check myself. Um, man, there isn't a single thing, I think, that can really spark your life in the right direction mm. than to not drink. I mean, I don't know how someone can build health and longevity when they have that crutch. I don't know how you do it. If you want to take the first step, 30daynoalcoholchallenge.com. I can help you quit for 30 days and then at the end of 30 days you can decide what Stephen and I did and just keep going and quit drinking or you, you can go back to drinking and a lot of people who do that 30 day no alcohol challenge program who do go back to drinking do so at a far reduced rate than before. Stephen and I are talking at two people who quit, we made that decision but you don't have to quit entirely, you can just moderate, right? Now, that's sometimes, for some people, that's harder. Some people actually need to quit rather than try to moderate. But for other people, moderation can work, right? Stephen and I have made the choice to just stay quit. That works for us. But if you want to just get a glimpse of what it feels like so you can then ultimately make an informed decision as to whether you want to quit forever, then try the 30-day no alcohol challenge at 30daynoalcoholchallenge.com. It's been changing thousands of people now across the world and their lives. And uh, maybe you could be as happy as Stephen appears to be right now. <laughs> so there you go, Stephen yeah, McCain. Just go for it. Yeah, there you go, former U.S. Uh, Olympic athlete. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, my pleasure. Appreciate, I, I, man. I really, I, li I like what you're doing with I this, and uh, I think it's, I think it's important for us to realize what we're capable of. Without, you know, you, you don't want to be held down by something artificially. You know, yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Stephen McCain, thank you very much. Check out 30daynoalcoholchallenge.com. Please share this video now with uh, someone who you think might benefit from it, and you can post a comment down below. See ya.